continue the lesson of discussing on our clients. Now, I'll be using these outlines to explain the concept of our clients. Now, basically, our clients are a group of organic compounds and they are also referred to as acetylene. Our clients are also referred to as acetylene. And our kinds have the general formula to be the general molecular formula of our kind is simply CN H2N minus 2. The general molecular formula for our kind is CN H2N minus 2. The general molecular formula. Okay, this is the molecular general formula for our kinds. Now, our kinds are highly unsaturated. Okay, our kinds they are unsaturated. They are unsaturated and they are sp hybridized. They are sp hybridized. Okay, and they they, they follow a kind of reaction which is basically addition reaction. Okay, the kind of reaction our kinds on the go is addition reaction. Now, let's talk about the classification of our kinds. Now, basically, our kinds are classified based on their structure. The first classification based on the structure of our kind okay based on the structure of our kinds is the median our kind okay classification of our kind based on the structure we have the median our kind also we have the conjugated alkyne, the conjugated alkynes, and also we have the terminal alkynes, the terminal alkynes. Now, alkynes are compounds with triple bonds. Alkynes, they are compounds with triple bonds, okay? They have triple bonds. Now, basically, for example, we are giving a median alkyne. This is a median alkyne. A median alkyne is simply an alkyne that the, the bond, which is the triple bond basically, is found at, basically at the center of the compound, but not necessarily the center, but not the end of the compound. This is what I mean. For example, this is an alkyne okay basically this is an example of a median alkyne because the bond is found at the middle of the compound so this is a median alkyne how do we know a conjugated alkyne how do we know a conjugated alkyne example of a conjugated alkyne is this Now, a con conjugated alkyne is simply an alkyne whereby there is equal distribution of the double of the triple bond. Rather, you can see we have a carbon here, and also we have carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four, and carbon five. So basically, carbon two has a triple bond, carbon four has a triple bond. So for conjugated alkyne, the bond is there is a regular arrangement of the triple bond for a conjugated alkyne molecule. But for terminal alkynes, these are alkynes whereby the triple bond is found at the end of the compound. So this, this is a conjugated alkyne, whereby for median alkyne, the triple bond is found at the end of the compound. So this is a terminal alkyne. This is a terminal alkyne. The triple bond is found at the end of the compound. 
So basically, this is the classification of alkyne based on their structure. Now let's talk about the preparations of alkyne. Basically, how do we prepare alkyne? Now we should take note that the first member of the alkyne series is basically ethyne. Ethyne is the first member of the alkyne family, ethyne. So how do we prepare alkyne? I'll focus on the first member, which is ethyne. How do we prepare alkynes? The preparations of alkyne. How do we prepare alkynes? Now, basically, alkynes are prepared. Basically, ethyne, it is prepared by reacting cold water. By reacting cold water with calcium carbide. By reacting cold water with calcium carbide. For example, water which is H2O. Okay, water which is H2O, and it should be noted that water is basically called oxidane. Water is also called oxidane. So, water reacting with calcium carbide. This is the chemical formula of calcium carbide CaC2. Okay, this is calcium carbide. Water reacting with calcium carbide, you will get our product. C2H2 and C2H2 is called a time plus calcium hydroxide plus calcium hydroxide. This is a base. So basically, the reaction now let's balance the reaction. We have two um, atoms of hydrogen here, and also we have four. So basically, to do that, we put two here. So the reaction, let's check, we have four hydrogen, four oxygen, we have, um, now the reaction is balanced, okay? The reaction is, is balanced. So basically, if we want to prepare alkyl, we use reacting cold water with calcium carbide. So we get the first member, which is ethyne, plus calcium hydroxide basically called slate slime so let's talk about the reactions the reactions of our kinds the reactions now let's talk about the reactions of our kind okay the reactions our kinds react with Hydrogen. Now, basically, before we talk about this, the type of reactions alkynes undergo is basically addition reaction. Addition reaction. Okay? Now, alkynes react with hydrogen to form alkenes and alkanes. Now, this is a reduction reaction. Alkyne reacting with hydrogen. Reacting with hydrogen, it forms alkenes and alkenes. Now, this is what I mean. For example, this is an alkyne, C2H2, a gas. Reacting with hydrogen and the catalyst used in this process, we can use catalysts like finely divided nickel or if we don't use finely divided nickel nickel we can use catalyst like palladium or plantain so our product we get is c2 okay h4 whenever hydrogen is added to alkene it forms alkyne rather it forms an alkene Okay, so this is an alkene. So basically, this is called a T, whereby this is called a time. So for the reaction of a C2H4 plus hydrogen 
we get a thing which is C2H8. Okay, it's simply the addition of the hydrogen you are adding. That's why the reaction basically is called addition reaction. The hydrogen is basically added to the molecule, which basically is the ethane. So, for this hydrogen is added to a thing here. So, when hydrogen is added to a T, we get the product ethane. Okay, so basically this is one major reactions of uh, alkenes. Okay, now let's quickly talk about the use of alkene. Now let's talk about the use of this group of compounds, alkyne. In today's video lesson, I'm focusing on the first member, which is ethyne. Now ethyne is used as for in lamps by miners. And also, ethyne bonds with a uh, with an oxyacetylene blue flame, which is used to cut metals. Okay, which is used to cut metals. Now, ethyne basically is a major source of chloroprene, which is a monomer unit of artificial rubber called neoprene. Okay. Now, basically, these are some uses of a time, okay, which is the first member of our kinds. Now, let's talk about the properties. Our kinds are colorless and also odorless. But talking about a time, a time has a garlic smell. And also, our kinds generally are slightly soluble in water, but very, very soluble in acetone. I believe now we now understand the concepts about our kind, the chemistry of our kinds.